So now we've done the impossible. We've generated tens of thousands of insert statements in a very small amount of time. Now it's time to take our correctly formatted insert statements and put them into our Oracle database. So you can, of course, if you want, copy and paste these into Oracle, but that's going to take you a lot of time because here's the thing. Oracle has a limited buffer size, and so you can only copy paste so many insert statements at a time. You can't grab 500, 1,000, 2,000 insert statements and throw them right into Oracle and expect them to work. So you'd have to grab a certain number. I don't know how many that would be. Um, I really don't care to know because that's not the way I chose to do it. Instead, Oracle will actually take a .sql file and will execute it for you. So right now we've got you know 1600 statements saved in this one temp1.sql file. Well all we have to do to point Oracle to a SQL file is we give it the at symbol and then we say file path and then file name and in the command and Oracle will execute it. So for instance these were some of my insert statements. I said at and here's my file path e my media temp and then insert branch dot sql and then semicolon and I executed that statement and it ran my branch dot sql file and so however many lines however many insert statements I had was how many insert statements it performed and some of these sql files I would tell it to execute I would walk away for 10-15 minutes and come back and it finally be done so these are going to take some time but uh, it's definitely worth it just to point it to these files rather than trying to copy and paste now one thing I had to do the reason these are in my media temp is because Oracle does not like spaces in your file path now there's a way to use an escape character so that includes spaces I found it easier to just drop them into a temp directory without any spaces in the file path. You see like up here I have e my media document school and then right here there's a space in CS501 there's a space in term project. Well Oracle is going to flip out over the spaces because a space denotes the end of an argument so it's going to take this as one argument then it's going to try and take 501 blah 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 to term as an argument then it's going to try and take this as an argument and so it's really going to mess with Oracle's mind. So what you need to either do is either don't include spaces in your file path or find a way to use an escape character in your file path. But once you've done that, you can point Oracle to your .sql files and you'll have all your data inserted into Oracle, assuming you've created your tables, of course. And so that's it. That's all you've got to do. And uh, that's going to save you a huge amount of time. After you've got all your data in there, all you've got to do is take your queries that we generated from SQL Server 2008, uh, test those, format those. You're probably going to have to tweak most of them a little bit. They don't always behave exactly the same way. So you definitely want to test them, compare them to original data, and make sure they work. And then uh, once you've got your queries working, you're good to go. You should be finished. Uh, like I said before, if you do this correctly, if you follow these steps, and if you kind of, you know, get a good feel for it, I don't think it should take more than six to eight hours. It took me uh, about four days to do all this, working on and on and off. So that was four days learning how to do all this, searching for the correct tools, searching for and actually testing a lot of tools that don't work and, and things like that. So I hope this helped. hope it provides you a way that... Uh, that will definitely save you some time and frustration and allow you to actually learn about databases rather than spending all your time formatting and inserting commas and functions and, and all those kinds of things that don't really help you learn, just cause frustration. So anyway, uh, leave me some comments, send me an email, let me know what you think, and uh, hope I helped.